Hey guys, what is happening? So I've been using the OnePlus 7T for almost about a month now. And from now on, anytime someone asks me on which phone that I recommend to them, from now on, I'm gonna have to say the OnePlus 7T. This phone is just such a pleasure to use and this video will kind of go a little more into detail on why that is. But before I get into the details, I would like to talk to you guys about the sponsor of today's video, Black Blaze. Black Blaze is a software used for backing up your Mac and your PC. It includes 30 days of backups, and if you upgrade to version history, you can get over a year of backups and even forever if you wanted. Plans start as low as $6 a month, $60 for one year, and $110 for two years. To make it even more convenient, they also offer a mobile application so you can actually see the files you backed up from your Mac and PC on your smartphone. You can either download the files from their website, or if you want, you can order a thumb drive or a hard disk drive to be shipped to your house. You can install all your files back to your computer. And then if you return it within 30 days, you get a full refund or you can keep it if you want. Over 45 billion files have been restored. And in my opinion, that is 45 billion less times someone is crying out there because they accidentally deleted their ex's photos or some secret government files. Visit the link backblaze.com mark to get your trial started and for more information. And as always, the link will be in the description below. So as I've said before, the OnePlus 7T is a pleasure to use. And here is exactly what I mean when I say that. As you guys know, when you spend the least amount of money as possible on something that gives you very similar results to something that is very expensive, you get the feeling of it being really exciting and just you just you just feel better about yourself that you bought that instead of buying the thousand dollar thing right that's exactly what the oneplus 7t offers for 600 dollars, you get 128 gigs of storage you get 8 gigs of ram you get a 6.55 inch beautiful 90 hertz amoled display you get a super fast charger in the box you get a case that comes in the box itself now granted this case isn't like the best case in the world right but hey, it does the job. And you get a triple camera setup, which also has a macro mode built into it. So in reality, you have three lenses that does the same thing as some other phones, which have four lenses. Now listen, this video isn't about reading specs. I get that. But the fact is a fact, right? If you spend $600 and you get all this in a package, listen, you, you kind of tend to enjoy the phone a little more than you would than if you just, you know, bought an iPhone for a thousand dollars with 64 gigs and literally none of any anything else that I just said like at all I mean it does have a fast charger but it's like 18 watts like what is that the more I use this phone the more I start to really appreciate the display while yes this isn't the only 90 hertz display out there far from it but it does an excellent job at doing that because not that long ago 90 hertz displays were, uh, were scrutinized because simply they didn't get that bright. But the OnePlus 7T does have a 90 hertz display, beautiful. Honestly, it's, it's, it's amazing. And not only that, but it's, it still keeps its pretty damn good brightness. It's, it's pretty respectable. With adaptive brightness turned on, you get 743 nits of brightness. And with adaptive brightness turned on, you have 525 nits of brightness. Now, just as an example, that is pretty much as bright as last year's iPhone XS Max. But keep in mind, this is 90 Hertz. And just as a comparison, the Pixel 4 and 4 XL only have 444 nits of brightness. Now listen, the number difference between 444 and 525 may not be a lot on paper, right? But trust me, the difference is, is really there. It, it honestly is. So I really appreciate OnePlus for understanding that, yes, 90 Hertz is impressive, but subjectively, brightness is more important because after all you can have the fanciest 300 hertz display out there but if it's not bright then you can't really enjoy it so oneplus yo awesome that's that's fantastic keep doing what you're doing you get an a plus you want a pizza speaking of pizza dude you guys gotta try this if you didn't it's like the new sprite uh limited edition winter spiced cranberry bro it is so good that was not an advertisement by the way sprite is not paying me I wish that was the case, but no. Now, another thing I love about this phone is that the screen is flat, but the back of it is curved. So when you're holding in your hand, the curve of the back kind of fits your hand like a glove. 
but the screen is flat so you're not going to get any of those annoying like accidental touches and like yeah like a, a curved display is nice to look at maybe it looks more futuristic it looks like more of a premium device uh, or at least that's what they want us to believe but honestly in terms of functionality a flat display is just the best the OnePlus 7T also does come with the Snapdragon 855 Plus, which is just an overclocked Snapdragon 855. It's nothing really that major uh, because I don't really notice a difference whatsoever. I mean, there, there might be a, a, some difference if you're like editing videos on your OnePlus device. Who does that? But in terms of like day-to-day -day use, if you're the average person out there, you, you, you literally cannot and will not notice the difference between 855 and 855 plus now the fact that this phone has 855 plus without paying a lot for it that's good why not right like for example if the oneplus 7 t started out with the 855 and then to get the 855 plus you had to pay an extra hundred dollars i would tell you guys no don't do it another cool thing about the uh oneplus 7 t is the face unlock it is the fastest thing ever it's the fastest face unlock I have ever experienced. No, it's not as secure as uh, the face unlock on the Pixel or the face ID on the iPhone. I get that. Listen, I'm not James Bond, okay? I don't know if you guys have noticed this by now. I'm not James Bond. I'm not really worried about people stealing my phone, somehow figuring out that it's my phone, and then going to my Facebook, opening up a photo of me, then pointing the phone at the laptop, and then it, it unlocked. Like, come on, what? Listen, I, I'm not afraid of that. If you are, then, you know, don't get the phone. <laughs> but I'm a normal guy. Like, no one's going to ever do that to me. So, and if they are, or if they do go to that length just to unlock my phone, props to them. Go for it. Battery life is many people's concerns on a phone with 90 hertz uh, refresh rate, and that's understandable. That makes sense, you know. Uh, but I'm happy to say I, I'm getting about six hours. Yeah, about six hours, six hours, 15 minutes of screen on time with the OnePlus 7T. Um, and if I do go low and I'm headed out somewhere, let me tell you, the Warp Charge 30T is almost laughable at how good it is. You can go from like 10% battery to over 50 in like 10 minutes. It is, it is stupid. Like I don't even, I don't worry about battery with, with this phone whatsoever. Like see, OnePlus gets it. OnePlus gets this 100%, and this is what I love about the company. They they had a conference room meeting, and they're like, "Hey guys, we're gonna put in something that eats a lot of battery. What do we do?" You know, and one smart guy who probably got a raise was like, "Hey, how about we, you know, put in a a, a steroided supercharger as the charger?" And then they're like, "Yeah, that's a good idea." See, OnePlus gets it. If you're gonna put something in a phone that takes up a lot of battery, at least make sure you you bundle that thing up with a charger that charges it super quickly. iPhone, 18 watts is not enough. Pixel, 18 watts, not enough. Another thing I love about this phone is the speakers. Look how large the earpiece speak the speaker is on this phone. It, it pretty much almost takes up the entire top of the phone. So when you're listening to music, playing games, watching movies, it sounds really good. And here's a quick example. I get people asking me a lot from other countries, especially Mark, I'm on a budget. My phone broke, for example, you know, which phone should I get? Uh, my contract isn't up until whatever, whatever. I want a new phone. Listen, if you prefer iOS over Android, I, I will tell you, get the iPhone 11. You know, it, it, not, not the 11 Pro, just the standard 11. Best bang for your buck. But if you prefer Android, I am telling you, I'm telling you, the OnePlus 7T is fantastic. If you don't like it, just return it, bro. Well, you got like two weeks, I think. If you don't like it, return it. But the OnePlus 7T is fantastic. I don't know a single OnePlus 7T user that isn't happy with it. So thank you guys for watching today's video. If you liked it, click that like button. And if you are new here, consider subscribing. This was Mark from Mark's Tech. Adios.